Okay, what is good, my people? How have you guys been? I've been well. I've been good. Sorry for the long pause, but I'm here now, and I'm here to explain. But first of all, I'm also here to talk about this 3.5 3-row tennis ring that uh, I bought from Harlem Bling. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Okay, so like I said, um, I've been gone for some time. It's been about three weeks, and I really apologize for that. But today we're going to be talking about where have I been, what have I been up to, and where am I going. Um, I'm really, really excited to introduce you guys the rebranding of the channel, which I felt like it was much needed. Um, long story short, Hyrule Mafia is a thing. I started a, a brand, a lifestyle that I started about four years ago. Um, don't quote me on that. Four years ago, and uh, it was it was sort of like a fitness cannabis thing. Um, <clears throat> you guys can go back on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on there, feel free to do so. Uh, it's Hyrule Mafia on Instagram, and it's just that simple. You know, I don't know. I don't know no, no, no other thing. Just Hyrule Mafia. Um, but you know, obviously after some time I fell off the chain, I fell off the wagon, I shouldn't say chain, but we fell off the wagon, you know, it's a whole long story. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to take too long. I don't want to delay this video to, you know, for it to be so long. Um, so I'm just going to get straight to the point. I felt like Hyrule Mafia wasn't really appropriate for the channel because of what I was talking about. Uh, at first, when I started the channel, I really didn't know where I was going, and I just kind of started getting a thing into jewelry because I love jewelry. And I said, you know what? Let me start showing off a little bit of my jewelry, give my experiences. Maybe it'll help somebody per make a future per purchase or encourage it, you know other people to just do their own thing and uh, not be afraid to wear what they want to wear without the worry of having of other what are others gonna think about it. I know I don't know that's just where I'm coming from but anyways um I needed the channel to 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 kind of have a name that went with the channel I felt like so me myself being a huge sterling silver fan not only sterling silver in general like 925 but silver in general I felt like it's truly an undervalued metal that that is truly a precious metal and we take it for granted I feel like um you know I'm big on that I was a huge gold person back in the day and now I'm more of into more into the silver I feel like it has huge potential I could be wrong don't take my word for it but I feel like it does and I wanted to do something that tied the channel up you know to all these videos that I'm doing um and you know what I kept think, telling myself like what, what what should I do what should I name it what should it be well, what am I doing? I'm reviewing jewelry. What, are, what is the what is majority of the jewelry that I'm reviewing? It's silver, sterling silver, right? I didn't want it to sound, you know, like corny or anything, like, you know, sterling silver channel or like, you know, I just, I don't know. I feel like that was enough. There's enough of that already out there. So uh, I just decided, you know, go to with the 925, but I, I did see that some people already went with that. There's a 925. Uh, different channels, you know, if you just type in 925, you'll see what I'm saying. Um, so I kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit. I'm not saying that I invented this or nothing, but I liked the way it looked. So I figured, why the hell not? And that's how I came up with 925. 925 by Hyrule Mafia, because Hyrule Mafia, a lot of people know me out in my city, in my town, even in, out of my city, out of my town, people that met me through social media knows me as high rep so i kind of go by the high rep thing um although that was never my nickname i kind of you know put that on myself with the whole high rep mafia thing but that's fine i don't hate it i actually i like the fact that people call me high rep come call me high rep um so with that said i felt like that was appropriate and uh and you know, I told myself, you know, it's always, I always been a fan of clothing. The hybrid mafia thing was always a clothing. As you can see, I wear my own hats, uh, my own pretty much clothing all, all day, every day. 
there's no other way to put it my wife kind of hates it uh, because i, I kind of almost refuse to wear other stuff except i I, re I support some of my locals and um besides my brand i wear my you know people brand that i'm in the same town as me they have their own brand and i i, I just support if i if i like what they stand behind you know i'll rock it so with that said, you know, me being a big clothing fan, uh, doing my own clothing line in the hybrid mafia area, um, I figured why not, you know, I've never seen anybody rock something that, that kind of, you know, lean towards the silver department or, uh, you know, just jewelry in general. So I figured why not, right? So that's how I came up. I know you may see it backwards, but it's 925 Collector. I'm a 925 collector, yes. And I felt like that's something that felt appropriate appropriate for myself because I do tend to not only love jewelry, but I tend to collect it. I take it like as a collection and I'm almost always call it my collection. Um, I'm a collector, I'm a 925 collector. And I feel like I'm not the only one out there. I feel like there's more of them kind of collectors out there, you know. And if you, if you feel that way as well, comment down below. Let me know you're a collector. Hey, no shame in it. Um, it's a precious metal, just like gold. And it's really undervalued. You just never know where it can go. So that's all I'm going to say. But anyways, enough of that. Introducing 925 Collector Apparel and stickers. This is, this is, these are prototypes. These are just for me. This, this, I have not made any more of these. Um, I make these myself. I actually print them myself. Um, design the logo myself. I do everything myself with all with my clothing line. Hyrule Mafia, I did it all myself. Um, that's something I take pride in. I feel like, you know, it's, it's all done in house by yours truly. <clears throat> um, so with the future, I do plan to, 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 to put these out for the people because I feel like there's more 925 collectors out there and I feel I feel like why not right um if you are interested in getting maybe a shirt that's that's really what I'm leaning towards just the shirts for now I could do hoodies um, some hats um, you know stickers oh by the way let me let me let me let me not go on a rant but see this is the other piece of branding it has on the sweater. It's on the sleeve, and that says Hyrule Mafia because it's 925. But you know what? Hyrule Mafia. It is what it is. But that's not what's cool about it, I feel like. These are glow in the dark. So we shine at night as well, people. Let me show you guys here. like I said glow in the dark so I don't know if you could see it but there's the 925 collector and here's the pirate mafia now these need to be they shine a lot better in person because on here they don't do any justice but that's what they look like at night <clears throat> so they are glow in the dark um, I don't know man I always look for something out there, you know, with other people doing the same thing. I I feel like I have a love for it. <clears throat> and um, I feel like there was, there, just, there was room for something like this. I figured why not. I'm not only a 925 collector. Like I, like I said, I collect silver in general. So the 925 is more because I like to wear my 925. You know what I mean? You can't obviously wear. You can. There's not nowadays. Harlem Bling has a, a 999 uh, a sterling silver, not sterling silver, but a 999 silver chain, which is 9999 pure silver. You know. But uh, you know, don't get me wrong. I do collect my coins. You know, I collect my coins. I collect my bars. You know, I got more coins. I got big bars. I got medium sized bars, you know. Um, I, I'm a collector of silver in general. I feel like it's a good investment. Um, and if it's not an investment, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's 
It's a way of hedge against inflation and it will create, if not anything else, a savings, you know, kind of you're just saving away your money and you're going to know that when a recession hits, you ain't going to be hit very, you know, intense like other people will. Anyways, I'm not no financial advisor. Don't take my word for it. For it. Trust me, I don't know anything about finances, but I know what I'm doing for myself and I do what I think is right for myself and I've done very well for myself, I felt like. So anyways, I don't want to keep you guys for too long. Uh, let's get to the ring, which is what I'm here for. Here's the ring. And it's, uh, like I said, 3.5 millimeter stones and it's got a three row tennis ring. Uh, this ring is, I gotta tell you, it's solid, it's heavy, it's sturdy. It's, it's you know, these stones, they're called channel set. So they're not, ha they don't have a prong. I know this, this lighting is pretty terrible. They don't have prongs holding these. These are pretty much held by these two, uh, like channels is what it's called and that holds the stone together. So I feel like this type of setting will last you a lot longer. These stones won't fall as easily as, you know, with the prong. And these don't tend to catch on like linty clothes or, you know, this thing is beautiful. Excuse my ugly long nail. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. This thing is beautiful. It is a CZ ring as much as, you know, I hate to admit that because people tend to look at the piece of jewelry down to um, when it's a CZ and they don't appreciate the true beauty of the ring in general all because it's a CZ. Like, it's not it's not really about the stones, I, I, you know. Maybe I just need to be quiet. It's not, it, appreciate the craftsmanship because this piece looks just stunning in person. This is what the inside of it looks like. Um, I've owned this ring for quite some time, um, maybe half a year now. Um, when I purchased this ring, I bought it for $62.98 on the website. Currently now, the ring is at $69.95. And, uh, you know, like I said, silver is only going to go up, people. So try to buy it now before it goes up. Hey, if it goes up a dollar or two you're making a profit because when it comes time to sell it you may not get everything you get but you may get what you got got into it if not more so at the time like don't buy don't buy jewelry pieces like these the rings and stuff like that for an investment buy it because you like it <clears throat> buy these kind of things for an investment i feel like and it's not sometimes not really an investment it's just a, a way to beat inflation like i said so uh yeah don't take my word for it. Do what you do what you want with your money. Invest in what you think is right. And that's all I gotta say. But yeah, this ring here. Uh, let me go ahead and weigh it for you guys. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the scale. And it's at 14.7 grams. Like I said, this is a, a sturdy, strong, heavy ring. Um, feels good around the finger. And for those that's wanting to know what's the millimeter size overall of the ring, uh, let me go ahead and give that to you. The ring itself is measuring at 11.5, 11.6. So yeah, 11.5, 11.6 overall. And this is a size 10, uh, which is my wedding band ring. what it looks like on her really nice beautiful ring and this this camera doesn't know justice like this has no blink factor in it like I mean it don't she don't even shine in the camera but in person I mean the things the thing is just popping but anyways uh don't want to hold you guys for too long I feel like I already did don't even know how long this video is but yes we're back and we're trying to do push out weekly videos um obviously we're pushing the 925 um uh, you know 925 collectors because we are collectors of this beautiful beautiful metal um with that said please stay tuned for the next one i will be doing a giveaway 
what am I doing for the giveaway? Don't exactly know just yet, but I'm thinking about it. And I'm thinking about heavy because we're approaching a hundred subscribers and man, I am happy for that. I thank you all who have subscribed so far, but let your friends know, let anybody know, comment down below. If you're digging the channel, if you're digging the, <clears throat> you know, the gear and, uh, Thank you guys. That's all I got to say. Click the link down below that I'm going to drop in the bottom comment section and the description section. I will be leaving the link for this ring here and the website in general. If you guys can check this item out, if you're looking to buy one, $69.95 is currently on the website. Uh, I paid for it $62. So it's went about, it went up about seven, six, seven something dollars. If I'm right, doing my math right, which I'm not no mathematician, but yeah, that's what it is. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be letting you guys know, filling you guys in on next week's video. Hopefully, I know what I'm doing for the giveaway. 100 subscribers, what am I doing? What are they going to be the, the necessary things to do to get into the giveaway? I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, but I'll keep you guys tuned. Stay tuned for the next one, my people. Y'all be safe. Peace.